Days after this fight on a JCPS bus, that driver of the bus says she is deeply sorry for the incident. JCPS bus driver Lillian Dixon took to social media yesterday. She directly apologized and said she wishes she could have done more. Dixon, who says she's been a bus driver for two years, also responded to comments from the community accusing her of inaction. To the mother of this child, of this victim that went through it, I'm sorry. I am sorry that I didn't work hard enough, if that's what you think. From what you've seen, I honestly do not put you at fault of being angry. Days after a fight on a JCPS bus that left a 12 year old middle school student with two black eyes. <laughs> The driver of the school bus took to social media, offering an apology and an explanation. Before the fight even popped off, I was like, y'all not going to fight on my bus. Y'all ain't fighting on my bus. I'm not having it. Lillian Dixon says she's been driving for JCPS for two years. Since day one, these kids have been like this. Kiani is the student who was assaulted on the bus. You can see him in the video trying to protect himself. The community rallied behind Kiani this week, the bruises still visible on his face. Everybody's love and support for us is just amazing. It's overwhelming at times, but it feels great to have a community that'll stand by you. After the fight broke out, Dixon said the district pulled her off the road, saying she should have pulled over and alerted police. Yeah, I try to say that I was, I didn't care, you know, I just kept driving. I was in traffic. I was looking for somewhere to pull over so I could check on your baby, so I can get your baby back to school to be safe. WHAS 11 spoke to Kiani and his mother, Whitney Davis, on Wednesday. I taught him to turn the other cheek. I taught him to ignore bullying. I had no idea that he would ever go through something like this. Dixon says she chose to share her side of the story publicly after seeing Whitney's pain speaking about what happened to her son. I am a mother and I go hard for my kids. I do anything for my kids. And when I seen her face and them tears, it, it definitely registered with me. Dixon says the district gave her the option to be fired or resign. She chose resignation, a tearful apology and a plea for change. Like, JCPS needs to do better. Keani's mother, Whitney Davis, says she pulled her son out of JCPS and is looking at a possible lawsuit. JCPS said the students in the video who assaulted Davis will be disciplined according to the Student Behavior Handbook.